So he took the took the cover off of the dryer. Right? Yes. Took the rag, went in there, gave it a good little wipe down. And this is what we pulled out right there. So pulled that out. Okay. Now we got to take this gasket out. So you just take a little pocket screwdriver, kind of get it started. The hard part is getting it started, but then once you get it going, it usually. So just to update everybody here in YouTube land, what we're doing is some repairs on a chiller. We found uh, we found a cracked discharge line. We just brazed in the line. So this video is basically on how to replace the filter dryer for a chiller. This is a McQuay chiller. So we got that out. That's done. Now what we're going to want to do is unscrew this. Got it. There's the top. Got a little O ring gasket. There's the first one with one on the bottom as well. The new one will come with some. Okay. This one. Another gasket there. So this is how it went in. The orientation went like this. You can see it's a little different on the inside there. Kind of flares out. So that's the way it goes back. So what I'm going to do is just clean this up. And you can see it also has a screen here. Okay. Kind of strainer towards the bottom. It's kind of dirty. So we're going to want to clean that off. Let's see if we can't get it with a rag. Maybe some nitrogen. How about some CO2? Okay. That might be a little wet, huh? Yeah. Dry nitrogen should be fine. Yeah, I think nitrogen would be a better deal. Let's see if we can't get it with a rag. something better Waited to open these last. I'm gonna make sure everything is ready. You got that, folks? He's making sure everything is ready before he pops those open. So everything's been prepped. Okay. Look at that. What a difference. If you look at the old dryer compared to the new one, you see that? See how much wear that old dryer had? So you got that, uh, look at that, that pops right out. You see that, that came in with the can? So he's carefully separating, separating it. Carefully, he's carefully doing it because he doesn't, doesn't want to rip it. Rips it, we're in trouble. We'd have to use the old one. Right. We don't want to do that. So see how that just slid right on there? Perfect fit. 
almost perfect, pretty much. Almost. And now he's sliding that on there. So the 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 small the smaller part of the hole on that one it goes in de bottom first. Yes. Do that. And then. Uh, oh, this way. Oops. Okay. <laughs> so he he figured it out. That's the way I stood him up for a reason. Yeah. We go down this way. Okay. Now. That's a good point of reference. What you did was you stood those up as they were exactly. when they're so you can just go back to that point of reference here comes the second one we're going to get that metal piece there that's going to slide right in, just like that. He's going to put that rubber gasket on first, slide it in like that. Look at that. Perfect. So what would happen if you put these things in wrong? That's a great question. Because we've never done that before, have we? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. So, you may have to use one of these. Just because I don't see another one. Pretty much hand tight. Is that what you're yeah. gonna do with that? Okay. Up, no, no tight. reason. Yeah. Okay. Need to use a wrench. You hear that, folks? You shouldn't need to use a wrench. It's gonna be hand tight. So that's gonna it's gonna clean that up a little bit more. And before, just to let other people know, we didn't probably catch the very first part of the video. Uh, did catch it on the video? Is that he took a rag here and cleaned the inside out? So you want to get as much stuff out of there as you can. And then we start the bolting process uh, no, after he puts in the gasket. Yes, sir. One more gasket to go. He's got one more last gasket to go. Something you shouldn't forget. All these gaskets have to go on. This is a this oil. is a little trick here he's using. People know that this will make it stick on there, right? Is yeah. that what you is that what you're doing that? Yeah. Oil. So see he's putting a little bit on there. Just just hand there you go. Seated right in there, just like that. Oh, perfect. 
perfect. Look at that. That's it. All right. Spring. I got that spring. Don't forget the spring, folks. Tension spring. Got to have that spring for tension. It's going to go ahead and slide that on there. We go right in the middle there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because we have to. I'm going to give my hand with that, uh, putting those screws in. Yes, All right, guys. See you in a bit.